So we ended up watching all three Hanson concerts. Didn't plan on it. again today. Today is October 31st which is Halloween. So it's very exciting to be in America for Halloween because back home we just don't do anything for Halloween. So but right now as I said we're at Epcot. We have a fast pass for the Frozen ride coming up right now so very excited to ride that we haven't done that one before and I did want to mention I don't know if I said it in one of my earlier ones that we booked all our fast passes 60 days in advance because we're staying at a Disney affiliated resort for anyone that's not staying at a Disney affili affiliated resort you can book your fast passes 30 days in advance and I recommend doing that because we never used to do it in the past we used to just book them when we got here and there's never anything left especially now like we've had a look at the times since getting there and there's absolutely nothing left for all the good rides so I know that I didn't like booking so far in advance because I don't know what I'm going to be doing on what day or what I'm going to want to be doing but unfortunately at Walt Disney World that's something they have to do you have to plan ahead so anyway that's how we got our fast passes so we have the frozen one first and then we have a fast pass for spaceship earth and then we ended up getting one for Mission Space, but we neither of us like Mission Space, so we'll probably cancel it and try and get something else. And then later on today, Hanson are actually playing at Epcot because during the Food and Wine Festival, they have a concert series called Eat to the Beat with many, many different bands. So today's Hanson. So back in the day, I was a very huge Hanson fan and I saw them play here back in 2014. So I'm very excited to see them again. And we are looking forward, we're looking forward to checking out some more food and wine. Frozen ever after. 45 minutes standby. Yay, so excited. going backwards. I didn't, I didn't see the track changing coming up so that was really good. I knew it was going to go backwards because it used to be this other road called Maelstrom so I knew that it was the same track but just oh, with the effects from Let It Go it was so good. I can't wait to ride it again. We have another fast pass for it another day so. Oh, so good. Today will be Italy. Shane's gonna try this one. 
and I'm gonna try this one. And this is what Shane got. He got the Polo Ella, I can't say it. Segalatone. <laughs> Cassiatori, chicken thigh mushrooms, tomatoes, and parmesan polenta. And this is my mezzi rigatoni, vodka sauce, panna cotta, and parmesan cheese. It's like I'm eating um, Qantas. Yeah. <laughs> so, and we've got this guy in front of us, putting on a show. from Italy and I think Shane's Shane's was better. Good. Shane like you like yours. Yeah, it's like a parma. If anyone knows what parma is, it's kind of essentially that. Yeah. 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 Mine was nice but it was very plain. I don't think I'd get it again. So Hansen are on in four and a half hours and there's already some people lining up so yeah I don't know what time I'm meant to be lining up but I guess soon. So I've just gone to Hawaii and I've got this Kalua pork slider with sweet and sour dough, pineapple chutney and spicy mayonnaise. And I've got a pineapple wine. But the pork slider was quite good. I liked the pineapple taste in it. It was different, quite nice. And I love my pineapple wine. It's so nice, I remember getting this last time. It's so tasty. So nice. Pass for it, but we don't Stand really need one. <laughs> the lines are actually really good here at Epcot today. Even Crazy. test track saw and frozen, they're all under an hour. It's at actually Epcot. really good. <laughs> Most of them are only 15 20 minutes. I think Soren's only 25, so we might get a few rides done today, which is good. Oh, oh, oh. It's Where? I don't know. That's why I'm trying to punch. <laughs> Seahorses are so cute. What's that thing over there? That red thing.
in here in the seas. <laughs> The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. Yeah, I've got those in my backyard. Yeah, we have two of those in our backyard. Ready for another hidden Mickey? Millions of gallons each year. Hidden Mickey! Our small fish farm predict aphids and flies. We are significantly reducing our reliance. I've got the Terry Aki chicken bun. Yippee. show they're about to do another half an hour show now so we'll go back and watch that one as well they'll probably see if they play some different songs they might play umbop again but oh, it's so good to see them we have really good seats too i remember last time when i saw them in 2014 i had to line up for a really really long time but we just walked in this time so i think there's a line now to get into this one but see if we can just walk in again but so good, so lucky that we're here when they're when they're on. So lucky. I've just gone to the Fife and Drum Tavern and got myself a Hanson Brothers. Oops, focus. Hanson Brothers beer coat, mm, hops pale ale. Now it's pretty awesome.
we ended up watching all three Hanson concerts. Didn't plan on it, but I tell <laughs> you, they're, they're, they're good. They're they are so good. good. Yeah. You should definitely check them out. Like, they've done a lot more since what they did in like 1998. They've been playing music for 20 years. They have such good music. So you should definitely check them out if you haven't. When you're talking about like three brothers who grew up as musos and you know they had the big hit when they were kids, they just as time's gone on, you know, I think they've gotten better and better and um, they're very humble. They seem very humble, which is good to see. And uh, I think that it, it, it plays off in their music because they actually do enjoy what they're doing, which is what made me want to see the other two concerts. Yeah. I'm like, these guys are actually enjoying themselves. They're not here because they have to be, Ladies which is awesome. And, gentlemen, and they're made. They're, they're super rich. They are filthy rich. They don't need to do these concerts, but they're doing them. Yeah, they said it's their 10th year. 2050 years. Reflections of the Earth. Because of your life lessons during so it's the show, amazing. please watch your step and take small children stuff. by the hand. Get ready, because tonight's Illuminations, Reflections of Earth, will begin in just 15 just minutes. 15 minutes. So it's almost 3 a.m. now, and we're back in the hotel. We ended up leaving Epcot after 9 o'clock, coming back to the hotel and having a shower, changing, and then we went out to dinner. Just caught up with one of my friends, Chris, that I used to work with at Animal Kingdom and his girlfriend. So that was really nice. So we were there for a few hours catching up with them. And now we're back in the hotel and gonna get some sleep. Tomorrow's kind of a free day. We don't really have anything planned. So we might maybe go to the water park or go shopping or just hop around the parks not sure we've got a reservation for dinner at ohana tomorrow night but yeah not sure what we're going to do in the day so you'll have to just stay tuned and see what we get up to so see you later bye